Welcome to the Binghamton University Rubber Team's System Acceptance Review for the 2024 competition year. We are proud to present our 2024 rover, Endurance. Our rover's name came from an elementary student submission during our annual Engineers Week rover naming contest. After successfully training and onboarding 75 members last summer, our six subteams completed extensive research before starting to design our rover. We modeled the rover closely off of our successful entry last year, allowing proven systems to be further iterated upon. The drive team upgraded our welded rocket buggy chassis to increase height and reduce weight. Our custom some 3D printed wheels receive an update tread patterns as well as a size reduction, improving traction, maneuverability, and manufacturability. The motors powering the six wheels were switched to brushless motors with integrated 10 to 1 planetary gearbox and encoders, providing extremely responsive control and giving the rover a top speed of 5 miles per hour. The carbon fiber differential bar keeps the rover stable and together with the rest of the drive system, allows the rover to climb slopes up to 45 degrees, traverse obstacles up to 12 inches high, and traverse a variety of terrain types. The chassis was also designed to accommodate they all subsystems with a universal mounting interface, simplifying integration. All of our PCBs are custom made. Designed by us and hand soldered, each PCB is specifically designed to meet the needs of the different subsystems, including standardized power and data connectors for simple subsystem integration. Designs from previous years were updated to consolidate three PCBs into one main control board, simplifying the rover's electrical system while saving space and allowing for a smaller enclosure with improved wire management. We have also converted to a more module power distribution system by implementing per PCB power circuitry with 5 volt switching regulation, making debugging easier and further improving wire organization. These changes led to the elimination of the 12 volt line, requiring custom motor drivers to control the peristaltic pumps on the environmental analysis system off battery voltage instead. The HREI team has designed a 5 degree of freedom arm. The arm utilizes carbon fiber armbands and custom 400 to 1 cycloidal gear boxes, allowing the arm to pick up up to 5 kilogram weights while staying compact and minimizing weight. The arm size was reduced to allow for better operator control while still enabling the arm to reach objects 1.5 meters off the ground. The arm has a differential wrist which enables the end effector to be easily placed in a variety of positions, offering flexibility superior to a human wrist. Our end effector was designed to be utilized in both missions and can easily manipulate both large and small objects, as well as rotate continuously to loosen a hex screw with the built-in hex key. The arm is controlled with inverse kinematics to allow for easy operator control. The EA system utilizes a scoop and arm mechanism to take surface samples. Based on these samples, the team can then decide ideal locations to take subterraneous samples using a separate soil core system, a keystone of the science mission. The EA team also instituted a suite of new tests, including CO2 testing, a burette test, and a fluorescein diacetate hydrolysis reaction. The temperature and humidity of subsurface samples will also be measured. Additionally, a microscope is used to further investigate the soil at the sampling sites. These tests will allow the team to effectively test for signs of extinct or extant traces of life. We have also redesigned the testing suite to have fewer moving parts, thus making the time between sample collection and test results faster. Finally, a wide-angle camera and documented research will allow the team to determine the history of water and stratigraphic profiles on the site. For autonomy, the rover uses a high-accuracy GPS and IMU to read position and orientation and a RealSense camera to provide depth and RGB video streams. The autonomy uses ASTAR to plan a path while avoiding dangerous terrain. With a modular design, we can swap any device or processing logic with a simulated version Version, allowing us to thoroughly test our code in a virtual and mixed environment. Every logical task gets its own GitHub repository, with some repositories being submoduled into others for maximal code reuse. The low-level mechanical tasks are fulfilled using Arduino firmware in C++, while higher-level on-rover tasks are implemented in Dart, which provides better performance and multi-threading, while type and null safety prevent most runtime errors. Our GUI is also written in Dart, using the cross-platform Flutter SDK, allowing even more code reuse on and off the rover. For communications, we leverage a proven 2.4 GHz UDP connection using custom handshake and heartbeat protocols for reliability and safety. Together, we created a modular rover that showcases our custom manufacturing capabilities and can complete each mission with enhanced user experience. All our testing is done in-house. Electrical and mechanical testing is done first to ensure parts will fit and work together well. Once needed revisions are complete, we assemble and test all components along with their software before integrating them into the rover. To keep preparing for the competition in Utah, Endurance and our operators will continue to undergo training routines to ensure each mission can be completed with ease and precision. We are excited to return to Utah for this year's URC and are proud of the incredible work put in by our talented team members. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing you in Utah.